let us try to have an insight about FFmpeg. So moving on to next slide. So I'll give an introduction to FFmpeg. What is FFmpeg? FFmpeg is a multimedia framework developed in C language. It is originally developed for Linux platform, but now FFmpeg can be compiled and used over Microsoft Windows as well as Mac OS. FFmpeg is a very diverse multimedia framework. Almost every codec which is in existence today is supported by FFmpeg. It is application independent. It facilitates developer to integrate software and hardware codec libraries. Let us take an example of S.265, the new video codec standard which is coming up. So any developer who is who's familiar with S.265 standard can make its own library and integrate into the FFmpeg. It enables application program providers an option of not shipping the codec libraries along with their players unless it is proprietary codec. The application providers need not worry about the codec libraries as codec libraries are part of FFmpeg framework. So they can just release their media application and let FFmpeg take care of all the encoding and decoding needs. As a lot of multi multimedia players are dependent on on FFmpeg, they are using FFmpeg. So the memory utilization goes low because there is no need to have multiple copies of a of a codec library. So the other features of FFmpeg are a developer can integrate a, a hardware codec. So it can leverage hardware acceleration features which are provided by the platform. Hardware acceleration can be provided by using GPU which is existing in the platform. The hardware acceleration supports enhanced performance by reducing the CPU utilization for multimedia processing. Main functionalities offered by FFmpeg. The main functionalities are a user can decode, a user can encode, it can do transcoding, it can do a muxing, demuxing, streaming, and filter. I've listed just a few of the, of the features with which FFmpeg supports, but these are the main ones. So moving on to the next slide, FFmpeg command line tools. Basically, FFmpeg binary is used for, for transcoding, that is conversion of multimedia files from one format to another format. It primarily uses libav codec library to access various codecs that it has to offer. It also comprises of a, of a basic multimedia player, which is called as FFplay. So FFplay in turn invokes FFmpeg libraries for doing a decode and a playback. For rendering purposes, it uses SDL library. So in a way, SDL becomes a prerequisite. If a user wants to, wants to play a file using FFplay, it has to have SDL installed in their machines. FFprobe, it is a multimedia stream analyzer. It gathers information from multimedia stream headers and prints it in a readable format. FF server, this is again a very important tool that FFmpeg has to offer. It is a multimedia server. It is used for streaming, broadcasting of audio video content over the network. It makes use of FFmpeg library to get input streams and feeds it to them. FF server can be used to stream data over RTP, RTSP, or HTTP. So it supports different kind of internet protocols. Moving on to the next slide, FFmpeg libraries. FFmpeg comprises the following libraries. The first one is libav codec. libav codec supports multiple decoders and encoders for different multimedia streams. It is in the form of a shared library 
So this gives a favorable usage environment. libavutil. It contains utilities and root routines which are common to different parts of FFmpeg. libsw scale. It consists of routines for video resizing, conversion of image format, and color space. libsw resample. It consists of routine changing sampling rate, format conversion, channel layout of audio samples. They could be different channels, like stereo, mono, 5.1, 7.1. So libsw resample takes care of all those needs. libav format. It consists of routines to demux and multiplex various multimedia container formats. So whenever you try to do a playback, before doing a decode, muxing needs to be done. Demuxing needs to be done. So libav format takes care of that. libav device. It provides routines for audio video capture from input device and render it, render the audio video to output device. So libav device gives an option of AV capture. So nowadays AV capture is becoming a very common phenomena with with streams coming from 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 a webcam or a USB camera. So a lib AV device can be used for that particular feature. Lib AV filter. So with this you can add watermarks and logos to your stream. So this kind of functionality can be taken care of by using libav filter. 